Here we are, I'll do a little bit of a walk around with the uh, with the K rotor plane. That's a 50 inch wingspan. Uh, three and a half pounds. 4,000 milliamp lipo. 40 amp speedy. Um, that's a uh, Emax 28. 2815900 I think it is, with a 12x6 prop on the front. The servo in the head is a uh, Bluebird 620MG, about 10 kilo pull on it. The construction is uh, just conventional stringers with a plastic coating. That pile on there is made out of uh, carbon tubes. The top of the fuzz, where the pilot is, is made out of uh, blue foam with a uh, coating of a uh, couple of layers of uh, half ounce glass. I'll uh, see if I can grab this off and stain. Well, come off. There we are, that's uh, blue foam with aluminium foil coating on there. Battery issues in there. All blue foam on the top. Even this, uh, this was actually made in one piece of blue foam and then glassed. Four wing bolts holding it on there. Just a 1.8mm glass plate on there. I laid up myself. Um, servos. I've got just a uh, 9 gram on the rudder, but there's a considerably heavier one. There's a ball race one on the um, metal gear one on the uh, on the elevator, conventional elevator, and roll. It's modelled on a uh, auto gyro that was made by a gentleman by the name of John Kay in Scotland in 1935, 1939, I think it flew, and the uh, the full size one is still on display. You know, Still on display in a um, in a museum in Bonnie, Scotland. I designed this myself. Um, I uh, I saw some pictures on the net, and I uh, got a profile, blew it up, scaled it up. It's got a rather large fin there, as you may notice. So you couldn't really have a tilting head on this thing because uh, I'd be very easy to take the fin off. When I actually built this, I actually uh, was prepared for that, so I, um, after building it, I cut it through and then put it together again with a piece of film. So should this, uh, should this come and hit it, it would just, uh, just flip it off to the top and still make the machine flyable. But this is an extremely nice flying machine. I've been flying it for about uh, two, three years? No, no, not exaggerate, about two years. Um, the proper colour scheme should be silver grey, but I made it this colour so I could see it. But I, it's, since making this one, since being so happy with it, I have actually got another one at home that is uh, that is ready to go. And that one's silver grey. So now we'll uh, now we'll go and fly this fellow and see what it looks like.